I'm Storm Jones. It's Friday, March 24th. Here are the nine stories you need to know before starting your day. This week, the state Senate advances a bill requiring kids under 17 wear a seatbelt in the back seat. Currently, children under eight must be buckled. Langston University clearing out $4 million in student loan debt. This is the second time the university has used federal programs to waive school loans. A now former McLean County jailer pleads guilty to civil rights violations. 25-year-old Kyle Tecumseh admitted to placing an inmate in a cell knowing a gang member would likely attack. Oklahoma City Police arrest state representative for a public intoxication in Bricktown. According to a police report, Broken Arrow Republican Dean Davis told officers, quote, you don't know how bad you're messing up. You'll find out tomorrow, end quote. He denies any wrongdoing. A home ec teacher in McLeod accused of stalking and grooming at least 10 of her underage students. Serena Cater now facing three felonies. Across the globe, a suspected Iranian drone kills a U.S. contractor and injures five American soldiers in Syria. The Pentagon says the U.S. has responded with a precision airstrike in Syria. The man charged with killing Oklahoma County Deputy Bobby Swartz and badly injuring Deputy Mark Johns is deemed unfit to stand trial in his current state. Benjamin Plank will undergo treatment before the case moves forward. A multi-county grand jury recommends the Oklahoma County Jail Trust self-terminate and return jail operations to the Oklahoma County Sheriff. Among the findings, the jail hired gang members to fill open jailer positions. Finally, this morning, flags are at half staff across our state as people will gather today to say their final goodbyes to Oklahoma County Deputy Jeremy McCain. He died earlier this week after being fatally injured in an accident while on duty two weeks ago. Services are set for 10 a.m. at Crossings Community Church. That's today's 9 to Know. Robin and Lacey. We know uh, the students from OCS where the officer was, a resource officer. They are not having school there today, so they and the staff can attend the service. They're encouraging everyone to make mm -hmm. sure they get out there. Storm, thank you.